my name is Erica Tatiana Camacho. I'm an associate professor at Arizona State University, and my field of expertise is applied mathematics. In particular, I work with mathematical modeling, different biological aspects, such as the interactions of photoreceptors in the eye, and other uh, sociological aspects as well. We will begin each class with a quiz. There will be, there will be no free rides, no excuses. You already have two strikes against you. There are some people in this world who will assume that you know less than you do because of your name and your complexion. But math is the great equalizer. Um, so I grew up in East Los Angeles. I come from a very um, poor background. And I'm the first one in my immediate family to go to graduate from high school. And I was the first one to go to college. And I'm the only one in my extended family to get a PhD. And the way I got through where I am today is because I had incredible mentors and individuals who believe in me. Uh, the first, one of the first people who believe in me was my high school teacher, Jaime Escalante. And I remember he would say, if you stick with me and you work hard, I will take you anywhere you want. When you go for a job, the person giving you that job will not want to hear your problems and neither do I. You're gonna work harder than you ever worked before. And the only thing I ask from you is ganas, desire, haircut. If you don't have the ganas, I will give it to you because I'm an expert. Today is Monday, tomorrow's Wednesday, Friday is payday, the weekly test. There will be no diagonal vision. Keep your eyes on your own paper. You have 10 minutes to finish the quiz. If you finish early, please work on the assignment on the board. No questions? Good. I remember that I, that I wanted to be an engineer. And he would say, Flaca, because I'm skinny, he, would call, he had nicknames for everyone. He said, if you stick with me, I'll take you anywhere. So he really believed in me. And what was incredible was because I didn't even believe in myself. And looking at all the different um, signs around me in my environment, they were just telling me I was not going to get anywhere. That I was going to end up like many of my friends, whether it was in gangs, in prison, pregnant very early, or dead. So uh, the hopes for me were very few and very limited until someone believed in me. Okay, parentheses means multiply. Every time you see this, you multiply. A negative times a negative equals a positive. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Say it. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Say it. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Again. A negative times a negative equals a positive. A negative times a negative equals a positive. I can't hear you. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Louder. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Louder. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Why? Uh, so Jaime Escalante was my high school teacher, my calculus teacher, and in fact, he, uh, he's the feature in the film Standing the Liver, and his story and the story of how he believed in his students. I met him after the film came out, but he had the same kind of um, approach. In fact, I would say that probably the movie depicts him 80% of the way he's depicted is actually correct. Uh, he was this kind of um, instructor that was like a parent. It was this kind of hard loved, where uh, he believed in you, but he made you work really hard. Minus two plus two equals zero. He just filled the hole. Did you know that neither the Greeks nor the Romans were capable of using the concept of zero? It was your ancestors, the Mayas, who first contemplated the zero, the absence of value. True story. You burros have math in your blood. He also allowed you to create a hope or create a goals for yourself and dreams. I think uh, that's very important because especially for students that come from environments where they're marginalized and where there's a lot of poverty, where many of the people in her, their families have not really gone very far academically or economically, there's not much hope. There's not much left for them. And so they're more in a survival mode, right? Just getting day by day. And um, so there's not much to dream for, to look for. But when you have someone that believes in you, and then you, someone that is able to start to uh, help you carve that path in, uh, in search for 
not just what your strengths are, but also what you really are capable of doing and have that goals and have those dreams. I think you could really achieve incredible things. I, I think throughout my path or throughout my career and uh, trajectory, I've had different individuals that connected with me. And uh, like I said, I call those individuals my mentors because they believe in me, they connected with me, and that's how they helped me carve that path. Um, with Jaime Escalante, the connection was very um, strong. He was not just my teacher in the classroom. In fact, when I went on to Wellesley College uh, to undergrad, he would be the person that I would call when I felt like I couldn't make it, when I felt like I was really defeated, and when people would tell me that I was just there to fulfill a quota and I just wanted to pack my bags and go home, I would call him. I would not call my mother, because my mother had not been there. My mother would probably say, oh, and, I, and she would actually, she did. She said, oh, just come home. You know, your siblings could f help you find a job in, his, in the alleys in downtown. Um, get, they're earning now $20 a day. And it, that's not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear, stay there. And that's exactly what Jaime Escalante would say. Stay there, you know, make that anger be your drive. Make that, those feelings that you feel that you don't fit in. Show them that you fit in. Show them that all you need is the opportunity. And you're gonna walk through the door. And not only are you gonna walk through the door, you're gonna succeed. If you expect kids to be losers, they will be losers. If you expect kids to be winners, they will be winners. If you expect more positive, they have something to offer and hold them accountable for whatever they do, they will amaze you.